Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page seven. Page seven. So I, you know, what? I need to pull page six in <laughs> to see what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. All right. So we're going to have um, have it set up like this. So I've got the stripes on the outside. So this is from the 8x8 collection pack. It's the opposite of this, and then I just turned it upside down because I wanted this edge to meet this edge on page six, okay? So page seven. Okay, so this is a waterfall page, and we did this on page two, and I had some lessons learned, and, and I'm sure you guys, ooh, I didn't get my tape on. Uh, went through that learning process with me, but I did learn a few things and we're going to uh, employ those right now. So one of the first things I realized is I want to reverse how I laid my tape in. So the tape is going to go on the inside. We're going to slip it in. And actually, we don't really need double-sided tape now that I think about it. We could just tape this down with scotch tape. So well, that's what I think I'm gonna do. So hang tight, I'm gonna go get some regular tape, which is just in the drawer over here. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna tape it down, because the whole thing's gonna get glued to page seven anyway. And I think this might be a lot less fussy. Now, you may not see it, but I actually made my slit crooked. So I'm going to adjust it by just pushing this edge of the flap up. And then I want to go over where I put my marks um, before I made my slits. You're going to come down. I just used this design pattern as the start and then went across. You're going to come down a quarter of an inch and make your first slit. And then every slit after that is one inch down. So come down a quarter inch and this slit is an inch off of this one and an inch off and an inch off. So you're gonna have a total of four slits. The first one's a quarter inch down. Every other one is coming down one inch. Okay, now when you're installing these flaps, and this is gonna be a lot easier. I don't know why I didn't think of it on page two. When you're installing these, um, these flaps with a waterfall, you wanna make sure that the hinge, the score line is actually on top of the page. So if you open it up, you can see there's the score line. You want to make sure that that's on top and it doesn't get tucked behind your slit. If it gets tucked behind, it's not the end of the world, but it does make it harder to operate. Your flap won't want to open and close smoothly. Okay, that one's in. Be careful not to tape your other slit closed. <laughs> So I'm just going to add tape to the ends because the next slit is right there. So you got to be careful not to tape it shut. Oh, you know what? I can see I need to lift it. So let's do that. See how much easier that was? Okay, that's right. Okay, that looks not a little more. So it's a little crooked down here, but it's very straight when it's closed, which is what I prefer. So the other thing you're looking is to move this, line up your flap side to side. I probably should have started from the bottom. What do you guys think? bottom up. The good news is this tape is pretty, it's not really, it's regular tape, but it's repositional. It was very easy to pull up because I haven't burnished it. Okay, so far so good. lining up beautifully. Almost like we planned it. I spoke too soon. 
There we go. So we are going to install this on the, I'm sorry, left hand side of page 7. And that was a lot easier than what I did before, which is I had double side tape on the inside. That was much harder to deal with. install we're going to install this um, flap to hold everything closed so I just eyeballed it and basically what I want is for this flap to be in the center of the waterfall and I think that's going to do it and even if it's off it's okay it's going to look fine So, I actually put this end upside down. This magnet needs to go on the other side. Okay, we need one more magnet. I'll go ahead and use it. That's too much tape. <laughs> there we go. said too much tape there, there it goes didn't want to let go okay now we are going to use um, these cut aparts to cover this real quick and I used two packs of the 8x8 and 12 by 12 so you're gonna have a front and back for both page 7 and page 2 so this is the front, and this is the back, and we're going to use the back side because otherwise our cap will be upside down. I almost put glue on the wrong side. All right. And I just traced the cut apart to make the white cardstock backing. All right, there we go. Okay, now the same thing I did on page two. Um, there was two of these clocks, so I went ahead and used them on page two and page seven. I just think it's a fun feature. So we've got our clock. It's going to cascade down, and then we're going to put some 
uh, alternating patterns on the back. And here's our strips, and we're only going to put partial coverage on these. <clears throat> and part of that is because I'm out of paper. This goes here, and this goes here. Is that right? Yeah. Speaking of which, I have one sheet of 12 by 12 left and the cut apart pages, that's it, nothing else is left. And the 12 by 12 that I have has a pattern on one side and it has um, the circular cut aparts on the other. So you're gonna use two whole packs of eight by eight, two whole packs of 12 by 12, the exception of one sheet. And I'm not doing inserts for this album. Yes, I am. I did insert. I just can only cover a one inch strip on it. So if you want to cover your inserts, you're going to need more 12 by 12. So I kind of learned a little bit of a lesson here. If you want to do an eight by 10 pocket page with Stamparia, you really need, I think, a total of five packs of paper. So either three 12 by 12s or three eight by eights and two of the other. Um, otherwise, you're just gonna run really tight on your paper like I did. Okay, this is gonna get installed here and we're just going to mark it really quick, trim it to fit, and then we will do the back side of our waterfall. And that, it will conclude page seven. This is fun. I like, I like waterfall pages with the slits because it's so finished on the inside, but it is kind of fussy. I had to stop start a few times on marking where I was cutting. And even, even with all that, I cut one of them crooked. But again, you can straighten it out just by how you wiggle your um, waterfall into place. Okay, let's go ahead and decorate the back side. So this is also from the eight by eight, and I'm just gonna alternate this bird pattern. Just like so. So people ask me what my planning process is. In the case of this album, I planned around the actual images in the collection. Um, and then a lot of times what I like to do is I'll start decorating from the edges in. So I'll do page one and page eight, uh, get it designed, get all my paper installed, and then sort of reassess how much paper is left. And then I'll do another two pages and then stop and reassess how much paper is left because how much paper is left is really what's going to limit the number of flaps or interactive elements that you have in your album. So it really depends. Um, I don't do that as much with the Graphic 45 bundle uh, albums because I've, I'm getting so much paper in a bundle. So I don't feel, I feel like I can actually design the flaps and then figure out how to cover them because I'll have enough paper. But Stamperia, I mean, Graphic 45 gives you 16 sheets in a pack and Stamperia gives you 10. So that's considerably less paper. So a lot of thought has to go into and, and double checking how much paper is left or being prepared to buy another pack if you run short. The other reason like I, I like to go from the outside in, so page one, page eight, and then, is it helps you distribute the colors across the album. If you just start page one, two, three, four, sometimes what you'll find is all your favorite colors are on the first two or three pages. And then, you know, you don't, there's not a lot of flow to the rest of the book. So, 
And it doesn't really matter that much because basically when you open a, a page, you've got two to look at it at any given time. You can't see across all. Okay, that is it for page seven. Okay, we're getting close, guys. Uh, we're going to wrap up this album very shortly. I'll be back soon with more.